This is Central Washington University, and we are doing a demonstration on a bomb clarimeter experiment. First step, let the, the base and water reach equilibrium with the outside temperature uh, within three degrees Kelvin. Next, we'll be setting up the actual bomb. So those two points right there are the electrodes. And you want to take your nichrome wire. We have, uh, what was it, 10? 10 centimeters, yep. 10 centimeters. So for 10 centimeters, you're gonna do about two loops around each side, leaving slack so you can manipulate it to contact your sample. You just kind of thread the needle between those two. So you can look at it right there. It's not an exact science. The slag is important though, so you can reach your sample. set up on our support. Next we load the sample. We're using a liquid sample. Now we want to, uh, for liquid sample, we need to get the nichrome wire to just barely touch the top of the liquid barely be submerged. Otherwise, uh, the sample will not ignite properly. For solid samples, you want to make sure the nichrome is uh, pre pressed uh, hard into it. Get that checked out. Oops. So as you can see, the wire in there is just barely touching the top of the liquid sample, that's just how you want it. And make sure also, the nichrome is not touching the two sides of the uh, sample reservoir. doing some quality control here. I think that's better. Okay. Next, very carefully, very, very carefully, So now what you want to do is you want to press in the um, top of this. You see that uh, there's a rubber O-ring right there. And we want to take the, the pressure outlet in the top and unscrew it. That way when we press it down, you get a nice little seal there with the O-ring. Like that, you should hear some air come out of the outlet. So carefully carry your sample over here. If these things don't go on, just do a quick quarter turn left and you should hear it pop up against the threads. That way you don't strip the threads as well.
be very careful with your sample because moving it can disturb your setup inside the actual bomb and you'll have no way of knowing if you disturbed it. So holding the base tightly while screwing is a good technique. And of course before you expose it to the oxygen, tighten the uh, outlet. And now attach the tubing to the oxygen inlet. Next you turn on the master valve and then the control valve. Control valve very slowly. Whoa. Let it fill up to around 30 atmospheres. Now you slowly release the outlet. I tighten that way too much. I can't get it off now. <laughs> Let the system be exposed to the outside until it reaches it around 5 atmospheres. This is then obviously with uh, the oxygen outlet. Now we expose the system to, again, around 33 atmospheres. So that what that was done there was uh, you use the release valve to expose the actual tubing to the environment. That way you can safely remove it. So no, no longer under pressure. Release it from the oxygen inlet. Here's the bomb's water reservoir. Essentially the bomb is going to fit right there in a little circle. Again, gently lower it in there, your sample is in there. Just like that. So what happened there is we're checking uh, the stir rod to see if it, anything was obstructing it. Let's give the, uh, the motor wheel a little spin in there. All right, fill the reservoir full of water. 
make sure you also ignition wires can be a little loose, so we're just double checking. Just make sure the ignition wires are attached to the terminal nuts there on the bone. Our system has two liters, so we have to do another one. Now we're going to check the steering rod again, make sure it's free from obstruction. And attach the drive belt to the motor. There's a little inclusion there so it fits snugly, same on this side. Make sure again, free from obstruction. So what we're inserting right here is the thermometer. This is attached to this. We don't. You want to make sure, like with all experiments, the thermometer does not touch the bottom of the sides of the system. Here we'll be using tape. Since we use 10 centimeters of nichrome, this is how we'll, we'll set up our ignition unit. Common, 10 centimeters. These leads go just right here. So for now, we're going to let this reach equilibrium and record the temperature. Once this reaches equilibrium, what we do is we'll press down this switch and we'll hold it down for five seconds until this red light flashes. And then our experiment will be going. I'm going to start recording the temperature on the readout right here. 